Happy Monday. Alright, let's get all the way to it quickly because I think this is going to be a long one. I'm going to try and keep it under control, but you never know. Um, we'll start with the week at La Longue. Um, the Sunday vlog, uh, the live one with Mommy, did not obviously go well, as I'm sure all of you are now aware. Um, she had some serious technical issues. There was a group renting the chateau uh, this past weekend, and I'm sure they were all trying to get through on the Wi-Fi as well. Uh, Stephanie um, talks about the Wi-Fi and calls it little rats, one rat at a time, running down the wire with a little tiny piece of paper, and then coming back and grabbing the next piece of information and going back. That's pretty much how that runs. Um, 4G is supposed to be installed, hopefully by the end of the year, um, but I don't think they're going to be getting to anything quickly in France anytime soon. So hopefully by spring at the very least. Uh, it sounds like she's going to just stop um, the live feeds for the time being because it's so bad and because the chateau is now so busy. It wasn't so bad during lockdown when it was empty and there was no one else there using it. Um, but now it's just become too difficult. So much easier to pre-record the videos and go hang out in the farmer's field with the cows and wait till it uploads. So that's fine. Um, I just got done watching the Caddo in the Chateau video. That was so much fun. You guys are so sweet. Um, yeah, they got all kinds of really, really neat stuff this week. Uh, lots of tea and lots of great things for the workaways. Um, Natty, lady, you are just lovely. You really are all decked out in that peacock stuff with the glass. That was just brilliant. Um, you'll forgive me, but I'm going to go back in and get a screenshot of that. And I'm going to use that one. I love you. Um, anyway, yeah, the whole week has been fantastic. We got to see Oliver back, which was lovely. Uh, Michael Potts and Ruth were back, and Scottman was back. Um, a little birdie tells me he's going back next weekend too, so just watch for that. Um, Marie and uh, not Nick. That's what I'm going to call him from now on, not Nick. So uh, the one we got from Michael uh, last Friday was lovely because we got to see him and uh, Mick hanging out together, drinking champagne and chatting. I literally almost dropped what I was holding in the kitchen when the phone rang and Mick answered it. It was fantastic. It happened to be a relative of his who had seen him on the live feed and decided to phone him. It was great. <laughs> So we're looking forward. Uh, Michael said we might get lucky and get an interim uh, video this week. Cross your fingers. You never know. Um, just to go to a sort of an update as to what's been going on and how things are progressing. Um, be neat to uh, see Mick get started on the swimming pool there. Because they're right. You know, people travel and they want to be able to... Uh, to have some place to swim. Apparently it's terribly hot in France and that would be lovely. Um, be nice to have one at La Lande eventually too, I think. So yeah, that was lovely. Um, I had to giggle because uh, I think Mick now has his own um, fan club. It's cute, it's so cute and ladies just love him. So that was lovely to see. <laughs> I'm not sure if anybody's told him yet, but he'll find out sooner or later, I'm sure. I'm sure. All right, so let's get into what this week has been literally drilling into my head all week long. So I watched an interview uh, between Oliver and Stephanie the other day. She was asking him some questions. The very last one was, what is your purpose? And as I was sitting listening to Oliver talk, and talk about his purpose. Not just with his work, um, because apparently he counsels clients to figure out what their purpose is and what their business purpose is and all of that stuff. What life purpose is? Why are we here? And what are we doing? Um, and what are we contributing? I thought that was a really great question. And it's continued all week long with different conversations with different people. Figuring out suddenly out of nowhere that they have a purpose that they never knew about. Some of them are 
you know, 30 years old, other or 60 or 70, and they're just figuring it out. It's been amazing to see. So my question is, I guess for everybody, what are you here for? What is your purpose on this planet? What is it that you have to contribute to mankind? So that's kind of what I want to talk about today. Um, there's a Mark Twain quote that Oliver used in the um, interview. And it's something along the lines of there are two most important days in your life. The first is the day you were born, and the second is the reason you find out why. I've known that quote forever and ever, and I've always, always loved it. Now, I'm, you know, getting close to 50. I'm 49. I have, for my entire life, known that somehow I was supposed to impact a large number of people in a positive way. I think it's a big part of the reason that I've experienced the things that I have in life so that I have things to teach um, and things to share. I searched for years, probably my whole life. I knew that that was a thing, but I wasn't sure what exactly that thing was until recently until one day I decided that it would probably be a good idea to start a fan group for this really cute little chateau lady that I saw on YouTube and I figured you know 10 12 people are gonna come and hang out and chat with me about it and we are 4100 and climbing in five weeks and I can't, I can't get over it. The one thing, the one theme that I've seen through all of the growth in it is so many people striving for their purpose, looking for ways to share the things that they love and the things that they think are beautiful and bring joy into the world. And it's just been astounding to watch, just astounding to watch. I found, oddly, my purpose with you all. I can't think of any other way to put that. But all of this has been such a crazy ride, such a crazy ride but it feels exactly like what I'm supposed to be doing. And I can't argue with that. I have the ability to put joy and beauty and love into the world through that page. And I am beyond grateful and blessed and lucky that I'm able to do that and to continue doing it. Um, and to have all of you allow me to do it. Um, it's, it's just, it's just a blessing. It's the only way I can put it. It's absolutely a blessing. So my question, I guess, to everybody is, what are you here for? What is it that you have to contribute? Whether it's, a kind gesture or a kind comment to somebody who's having a terrible day or picking up and drawing an animal for the first time and discovering that you're an amazing artist. That's how Oliver became a painter. He picked up a pencil and drew a crane outside of a window one day and went, oh, I can draw. And you've seen what he can do. So he's now at the point where he's getting people asking to commission pieces. And he thinks that's crazy. <laughs> but I get that. I get that. Things just have a way of growing and becoming their own 
entities in themselves. And suddenly you have this thing in front of you that can do good for other people. And that is amazing. It's just amazing. So in that interview, Stephanie was talking about a gentleman whose book she had gotten, who renovates uh, old uh, houses and whatnot. Some of them he actually picks up and moves to his property so he can renovate them himself. Uh, but he's 80. The book uh, was written 10 years ago. He's now in his 90s. And he did most of that work when he was 80 years old. It's never, ever too late. There's always, always some tiny little stepping stone that you could overlook and not take the chance on and miss. You have to try everything. You have to try everything. As scary as it is, as unlike you as it is, you have to try. If you don't try, you never know. And like I always say, you never know what a little bit of courage can do. So I would encourage you all, even if you don't know what your purpose is yet, find one small thing every day that contributes to it. I know we all have bills to pay and lives to lead and things that we've already committed ourselves to. But there are still ways, little tiny ways, every single day that you can grab hold of an opportunity to do something nice for someone else, to create something beautiful, to put flowers together. I mean, look at, look at Marie's journey. Shall we just talk about that for a minute? Marie is living her fairy tale. And all it took was volunteering for a couple of weeks in a chateau where she didn't know anybody, in a country she didn't know anybody. And look what happened. She quit her job. She has moved to Lalonde. And now she has her own floristry, floristry studio in the middle of the chateau. And she gets to wake up there every day. I saw her post a little bit of a video walking around the side of the chateau and in towards the courtyard and I was just so taken by how amazing that must still be even after being there for a few days that she can walk around a corner to that and it's just been stunning 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 so you never know you never know what one tiny decision can create. My tiny decision was to make that big group that one day. I had no expectations. I had zero hopes. I didn't think it was going to do anything at all. All I knew was that Steph said what it, Stephanie said it was okay, and I did it. And now look. There are almost 4,200 of you, and it grows by just about a hundred people a day. It's beautiful. And all of you are so, you are like direct reflections of what Stephanie has tried to give us. And it shows every day in the things you post and the comments you make and the reactions you give and there are people who are making connections that never ever would have otherwise and I'm pretty sure some of those are going to be life changing I'm excited to see what six months looks like from now what a year looks like from now what life in Lelon is going to look like and in Bamagne, um, completely, completely different. But all of us together, I guarantee that. 
I had one lady say, I hope you never shut this down. I won't. I won't. I want to see how big it gets. How big the family gets. That's what I want to see. I want to see how big the family gets. Um, I think it will just be phenomenal. So I thank you all for the adventure. I can't wait to see what comes next for all of us. And yeah, I think that's going to do it for today. So take some time between now and next week. Think about what your purpose is. See if you can find that tiny little stepping stone to it. I bet you it's there. You just missed it a couple of times. Anyway, I love you all. I'm so glad you're all with us. Thank you so much to all our new members. That was a lot of you at once. <laughs> Bless you, Michael. <laughs> Boy, when you speak, some people jump. I tell you, we don't need to put you into politics, I swear. Anyway, I love you all. I will see you next week. And I'll be, uh, yeah, all over the place in the meantime. Bye.